So we have shown you guys a lot of different Tesla products from different countries, and today is a very special day. We have the Cyber Vault. This is a product specifically made for Tesla China, and today we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, check it out, and tell you all about it. We have traveled all over the world and gone to Tesla stores and seen what they sell in different countries that are Tesla related items. And this item is actually only made for the Chinese market and this is the Cyber Vault. It was teased earlier this year on Twitter and on the Weibo account for Tesla China and everyone was very curious what it was. And today we actually have it in our hands. But real quick, I actually do wanna give a huge shout out to Jay in Shanghai. I'll go ahead and link his Twitter and everything down below so you can check him out and make sure you go give him a follow because he has really helped out with a lot of items. He helped out with the Model 3 wheels when we got those way back in the day. He's shown us all around China and gave us really great tours of everything and he helped me actually get this. So huge shout out to Jay. Thank you so much, really appreciate everything you have helped with. This is actually an item where Tesla came out to deliver this to Jay and actually said, we can't just give you the box, we have to install it because install is actually included in the price. And part of what Tesla is doing is they install it, they have to make sure that it's working appropriately, document that with photos and everything, they can't just leave this there. So he actually had this installed and then he kept all the charging equipment and I got the Cyber Vault because that's all I really wanted. Again, the charging equipment itself wouldn't work here anyway, so I didn't need any of that. We have another box in the box. Ugh. So on here, we just see Tesla on the front, Tesla on the back, Tesla logo on this side, and then on this side, we have a little uh, QR code that says what it is, everything, wall connector protection box, as well as the Cyber Vault profile and side view. We have a little box here and inside we have a few little nuts and bolts caps. We have, oh, the keys for the cyber vault and the mounting hardware. So this is what you can like use to mount it into what appears to be like cement walls or something like that. Okay, let's pop the top and see. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, it's cold. That's weird. Oh, the whole thing is a metal. I thought this was gonna be like a plastic box. Ooh, that's really built. Oh crap, that's heavy. Ugh. I guess that explains why the box was so heavy. I, I was kind of curious why everything was so heavy. Actually, let's see, can we stand it up? Wow, that's actually really heavy. Um, again, it never goes without fail. Tesla builds everything really, really solid. So not, I guess, surprised there. You can see Tesla design over here. So up here you have a holder for your handle to go in uh, from your charger. It says CyberVault for service, please call. And then it's got a number. And then over here, uh, I think, I don't know if he played with, okay, yeah. So the number default 0000, we're gonna change that, so don't come try to steal my Cyber Vault internals. Uh, but it also has that key, like I said, so we can pop that. And then, I don't know how it opens. I don't have a manual. Oh, ooh, that just like popped right open like a treasure chest. So here's the internals. Okay, so actually it looks like the fuse is still in here as well as like a little charging dongle that goes into the wall connector. If you want this back, Jay, just let me know because I don't need any of this. I thought you were gonna keep that, so that might have been my bad, but um, I'll probably clear everything out in here and just hang it on the wall. I don't know what we'll put in it yet. Maybe we'll uh, put our keys in there, maybe um, our secret projects, our accessory projects that no one can know about will lock up in here, make sure they're nice and secure. Um, but I mean, everything on this is metal. It is super well built. And you actually can see on this entire door here, you have a weather seal that when closing it, gets pushed up against this black part right here. So that makes it essentially waterproof um, because up here you'd have your power come in. They'd probably do some kind of rubber O-ring on top to make sure everything is waterproof up here. And then your cable could either come out down below and you could put your holder or your charging connector in the holder, or you could just wrap everything in here so that no one can use it if you're afraid of something like that. So I mean, overall, like this thing is built like a tank. It's much heavier than I thought it would be. Um, you can see we have the four mounting holes here, so that's actually where we'll mount it into the wall. 
Uh, I might actually have to find at least like two studs that we can put it on because it's actually quite heavy. I don't know I would do this with just drywall hangers, which is kind of what I was originally planning on doing. You can see the whole latching mechanism here latches onto this right here. Overall, very impressed with this thing. It is absolutely a beast of a unit and it locks so nice. Left side, you have a little grate up here for some airflow. Uh, as well as the sticker down here that's got the cyber vault, the part number, the voltage that it can run at, etc. So on the actual Tesla shop page, it's called the Cyber Vault Home Charging Service Package National Standard 30 Meter Install Service. It retails for 5,500 won, which is roughly eight to nine hundred dollars USD. But when we get into it, it'll actually make sense why this is a little bit more than our standard charger. So the actual Cyber Vault charging piles, tailor-made for the Chinese market, weighing 13 kilograms, adopts the Cyber Truck design language. The product is integrated with a protective outer box and charging equipment to meet customers' needs for safety, economy, beauty, and durability. It is a single-phase 220-volt charging device compatible with all Tesla models, and the corresponding charging performance is 32 amps or 7 kilowatts. The length of the charging cable is 6 meters. And then with the purchase, you actually get the Cyber Vault charging pile, cables with 30 meters and their foundation construction. You get the survey, you get construction plan, design and quotation, charger install and power transmission debugging. That's what I was telling you about why he had to have this installed and couldn't just ship it to me because they actually have to make sure all this is working and report that back to Tesla up to 12 month warranty on install work and necessary auxiliary materials in the process of cable construction, et cetera. And I'll go ahead and put some pictures up of what it looked like uh, installed for Jay. It looks beautiful on the wall. And when he sent me these photos, I was even more excited to get it because the actual look of the Cyber Vault is awesome. I really wish they would bring this product to the US and kind of like what happened with the wheels. Back in the day when we brought those wheels back from Tesla China, those were meant to be a Chinese market exclusive. However, in doing my videos and everything, a lot of people voiced in the comments and reached out to Tesla and said, hey, I wanna buy these, how can I do it? And Tesla eventually brought those to the US market. So that being said, if you would like a product like this with a built-in charger and everything like that, comment down below. Let's tell Tesla that we would love to have this brought to the US market and let's see if we can do it. Being a Cybertruck design, I think it only makes sense to bring this to the United States since Cybertruck is going to be built here. It'll probably be sold here first. It makes sense. A lot of people are gonna need chargers and I think this on a wall will look amazing. Not saying that those high power or wall connectors over there don't look amazing, but this is all protected unit. And I actually really like that. So Tesla, if you're listening, please bring something like this to the US. I'm sure that a lot of viewers comment down below if you want one here in the US will say they want one. Uh, and especially with the price, I think the price is just right. Now the price is actually about 800 to 900 USD but that includes install and everything. I think even if Tesla came in at like $1,200 or maybe even $1,500 for this installed, it would sell like hotcakes because install here in the US tends to be a bit more and everything. By the way, don't tell them I spent like eight or $900 on this and then like another like $300 to ship it. That's, let's keep that between us. You could have just covered my eyes up or something. Okay, wait, feel it first. Oh, hard. Okay, you can look at it. Wow. Looks very... I thought it would be plastic. Tesla, yes. Too bad we can't replace our gateway or something with it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Guess how much it costs. I don't know. Too much. Um, let me say $600. Let's just not tell them. Yeah. Let's just not. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to give you a first look at the Cyber Vault. I still have to decide where to put this. So comment um, where you think we should put it. Do you think we should kind of put it over between some of the windows on the wall? Or we could put it over there by the door. And what, what should we put in it? I don't know if we should maybe store our extra car keys in here. I know some people kind of get like those lock boxes for car keys. Now I would feel comfortable having everything in this. We just need to plug up this hole and the bottom hole and everything is gonna be rock solid. Or should I put my 
secret accessories that I'm working on in here or something like that. I don't know, comment down below and let me know. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your Tesla Model SX3 or Y and now Rivian, definitely check them out. I'll link down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. So many cool, fun, useful accessories to really help create your Tesla your own as well as protect it. Vehicles are quite an investment and you wanna make sure that you protect it enough so that it lasts and you don't have to worry about like any kind of rock chips or anything like that. So definitely check them out. And again, huge thanks to them for sponsoring. As always though, a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video, go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we will see you all in the next one. Bye.